Hi, I'm Faye from the Musication Station and today I'd really like to show you how to make a xylophone. It only takes paper, string and tape. It looks like this. Sounds like that. And so I'll start off by showing you how to make these bass tubes and then your musical tubes and how to put it all together. So today you're going to need about eight sheets of paper, some scissors, some string, some tape, a pencil and a glue stick. Don't worry if you haven't actually got any glue in your glue stick because we're not using it for glue, we're using it to roll tubes. So let's start by making the base of our xylophone. So all we're gonna need is the pencil and two sheets of paper. I'm gonna use two sheets of white paper as my base. So the first thing we're gonna do is using the paper landscape like this. So we make a nice long tube. So we're gonna roll the pencil in the piece of paper. Here we go. It doesn't have to be super neat. So we're just going to roll up one tube like that. Pencil should come out and we're going to tape those up. There we are. So we've got one. Do the next one. So we've got the exact same. Just two rolls of paper. And there we go, we've got our base for our xylophone made, so we can put those to one side for now. So for this next part, you're gonna need your colorful sheets of paper, or white paper, it doesn't matter, and your glue stick and some tape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making the tubes for our xylophone. So, we're going to do the same again here. We're going to take the long edge of the paper and we're going to roll it around the glue stick. And we're going to do this for every single... Ooh, if your glue stick gets stuck inside your tube, use the pencil to get it out. There we go. And I'm just going to take that one up like I did for the base. Good. So we're going to do that for all of the other pieces of paper, okay? Okay, so now we have got our six tubes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them to size. So like a xylophone would be all different sizes, that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna start with this as my longest one and I'm just gonna cut a bit off the next one to make it a bit shorter. And again, a little bit shorter. So, We've got our xylophone all nicely cut in looking like a xylophone now. So all we have to do is attach it to our base, our base that we made these two earlier. So they are gonna sit there like this. To do that, we're gonna need some string. So this is the fiddly part. So I've got some string already pre-cut and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by tying some string at each end of each tube. I'm just going to go along, tie a piece to each end. Okay, so now we've got a piece of string tied at each end of our xylophone bar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tubes from earlier and we're gonna start tying them on. This is fiddly again, but hopefully shouldn't take you too long. So I'm gonna start at this end here. And the great thing about it being all on string is that you can rearrange it whenever you need to. So if it's not quite in the right place, slide it up and down again. So I'm going to do this whole side and then 
do the other tube next. Okay, and then once your string's all tied on, if you want to, if you've got excess bits of string, you can just go along and tidy it up, snip all the extra bits off. And there you have it, your own homemade xylophone, which you can play with a pen, a pencil, or a stick. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know how you got on with your xylophones, and for any updates, please follow the Musication Station on Facebook.